friends, Misha here. Welcome to another viewer's dream town tour. Today we are in the sleepy town of Murgor. It is 100% complete and it was made by Mayor Kelly. We have other characters in town uh, named Yuga, Kor Koro, and Morwen. And as you can see, it is set during a thunderstorm in early September, and oh, it's looking so beautiful already. I'm loving these paths, these designs on the ground here. So, so pretty. So let's throw on, I will put on one of my QR code, out, well, my only QR code outfit, and take off my headgear and just get to exploring. But first, the description says, where the odd can lay their heads to rest, a boy with a sparkling personality, an equally sparkly belly button, an alien that teaches, a vampire that's watched over the town for decades, and a mare that likes to dress up as a duck and follow Felicity around. Oh, this sounds adorable. And if you guys want to visit along with me, the dream address is in the description box below. As always, feel free to visit now or visit any old time you choose. That dream address will always be down there. And the creator's social media is listed below for credit as well. And I think that is everything I need to say currently. So let's just start exploring. Start heading this way and we can head up and around to those houses and then down to that lower section of town. Here is the campsite area. Oh, I'm gonna just pick up that, that red pansy. Nothing was seen. Don't worry about it. We got the hot spring down here. Already loving how everything's set up with like the wide paths that go into these skinny paths over here. And I absolutely love the thunderstorms in Animal Crossing New Leaf, so I'm really excited to have this town. Oh, here's Morwen. If you had life eternal, I don't know. I think some of these characters are based off of other, like, characters from TV shows or, or series. I think Koro is from, yeah, the creator said Assassination Classroom. Uh, Yuga is from BNHA, which is a Boku no Hero academia and I'm not sure about Morwen not sure where where they are from but oh look at this nice regal open and airy main room in here this is so pretty and oh the creator did say that Morwen uh, has the best house out of everybody especially the basement and then all the houses are decorated and all of them except Koro's are fully expanded so we might not have time to visit every single room in all these houses since there are several fully expanded ones but we will definitely visit as many as possible and let me know in the dis in the description box let me know in the comments if you guys visit along with me or if you guys visit on your own time and let the creator know what you like about their town if i missed any parts of town that you really enjoyed be sure to let me know i love this cozy upstairs uh, like office library area Cute. And I love the pupper. I love the pupper over here and all the different chairs, the music being played, all the books. And if you guys want me to visit your town in a video like this, uh, as always, just comment your dream town info in the comment section below. I just need your town name, your dream address, a brief description of your town, any social media you'd like me to credit, and any uh, specific rooms or houses that you want me to be sure to visit in case I, you know, there are a lot of fully expanded ones and I might not have time to see all of them. If you tell me which ones are the best, I will definitely go out of my way to, uh, to visit those. Oh, this is a very, very pretty basement. Oh, and then they did say to check behind the clock here. What is this? Oh my goodness, there's a coffin back here. Why? Why a coffin? What's going on? What's the secret? If anybody gets the references in any of these houses that I'm not picking up on, feel free to let me know in the comments. And of course, the creator, if you have... Uh, any, any commentary on anything that I notice or don't notice, feel free to uh, explain. But I can still appreciate the designs for what they are, even if I'm not picking up the references. <laughs> Alright, 
let's see what's over here. Oh, this is a very, very cute laundry room, washroom. I like the touch of like the wooden elements in here and then all the different clothes sitting around. This is a very, very homey, very homey house. Feels lived in, I like it. All right, back out into the thunderstorm we go. Oh, I completely missed the fact that there are two outfits laid below the plaza. I uh, just glanced over at the creator's description and saw that. So let's see... Wait, where... Oh, here they are, here they are. We got the fluffy dress and a white tuxedo outfit. Oh, and then, the... oh, I do like the flower boppers and what's this umbrella here? The daisy umbrella, yeah. We will throw, throw these accessories on, protect us from the rain. Add some cute touches to our look. There we go. Ah, uh, here's the... I just forgot what this was called. The was Is it called the Wisteria Trellis? What is this called? Am I, am I going, am I going insane? Hold on. Trellis. It is called the Wisteria Trellis. Okay, I got very mixed up because one of uh, my regular viewers on Twitch, their username is Wisteria, and I thought that maybe I was like getting my wires crossed and thinking Wisteria was... Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. There's the windmill. I love these river designs that they've got all around the town here. And I really, really like these like s grassy stone designs too. I think those might be my favorites. And up here we've got another character's house. Let's see if they are walking around anywhere. Not out here. Okay, maybe they're inside. Let's see whose house is this? This is Yuga's house. So this character is based off of uh, Boku no or uh, My Hero. Damia. I have seen just the teensiest bit of this show. Not enough to really get, get any references, I would say. Uh, oh, I love this main room. Oh, I like the, the customized um, Rococo set with like the, the classic set or series and I love how this blue from this lounge matches everything so well. This is really, really nice. Let's see what other type of rooms Yuga has in here. Oh, we've got a Princess series bedroom slash office over here with some of the Gracie, well, I guess just the Gracie floor paper and, and wallpaper, and then the rest of it pretty much the Princess series and a couple other little extra bits thrown in here. Oh, I was trying to interact with the book, not the drawer, but that's okay. Oh, I love this tea set so, so much, and I love all the different colors you can customize it to. Let's see what lies up. Oh, I just really love this main room. So much. Oh, and then up here we've got another bedroom. A little bit smaller, also with some office touches and some cozy touches. Love the fireplace and some more of the Rococo series, but in the white and pink style up here. Cute. I cannot wait to see like what types of furniture Animal Crossing Switch adds. They added such a good set of stuff with the Welcome Amiibo update, and I just know they're gonna add some really, really nice stuff, or maybe add more types of customization, more types of colors and, and styles to existing series for the Switch game. My imagination just runs wild thinking about all the possibilities. This is a really lovely little, like, spa slash... I guess it would just be a spa, yeah, spa bathroom. I was gonna say hair studio, but looks like it's for personal use, not 
like a commercial hair studio, but I like the mix of different types of furniture in there. All these different houses and rooms are using lots of different types of furniture. I like it a lot. Oh, and you guys, also uh, for... Oh, here is the house's owner. I cannot stop twinkling. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. So for the next month, since it is officially October now, I am going to be taking priority for autumn towns or spooky themed towns. So if your town is based in autumn at all, or it has any sort of spooky theme, that will definitely get priority for this next month. Um, and if you have any dream towns to suggest that weren't made by you, but do have an autumn or, or spooky, scary theme, feel free to suggest those, but do please provide credits for the creator of the town if you don't know their blog or any sort of social media link to credit. Please don't submit it. Please only submit towns that you know who the creator is so that I can be sure to credit them if I do visit it. But feel free to submit other people's towns for this month uh, if they fit that autumn Halloween spooky theme. Oh, Kelly is sleepy. So this is the Mayor Kelly. They're dressed up as a little duckling. I love this fountain area in front of their house. This looks so nice. Yeah, just this whole, whole area in front of their house is really cool. Let's go inside, see what we got going on. Oh, this is really, really cute. I love the dark, but like pink lighting and all the different colorful furniture in here. Feels very colorful, but very cozy as well. I like the music too. Oh, this also feel f feels super cozy as well. How many times am I gonna say cozy? I don't know. It's just every video, every Dreamtown video, I say cozy about twenty-seven thousand times. I'm just accepting it at this point. Shouldn't even point it out. Just a fact of life. Love that room. Really, really cute. Let's see. Oh, we got a Wii U sitting out here. What a throwback. That'd be funny if you could play like a little mini version of Amiibo Festival on that Wii U. That'd be cute. I love this kitchen. No, oh, it's so cute and colorful. I love all the different pieces. I love all the like actual like functional kitchen stuff over here. The food items set out. The wallpaper works really really well too. I love this table down here. Oh, I want to come in here and have a donut and some coffee. That's perfect. And let's see the basement, see what's going on down here. Oh my goodness, it is the full Golden Series. What a wealthy mare this town has. <laughs> Always love the Gold Series, it's so cool looking. And we got some gold flowers to go with it as well. And a crown and a throne. Living. Large Mayor Kelly. Alright, back out into town, into the thunderstorm we go. We still have quite a bit of town to explore. I love all the orange flowers out here as well. It matches the uh, sweet olive bushes just starting to bloom. Oh, and I haven't looked at all the uh, all the villagers. Oh, here's Felicity, which they said the, uh, the mayor likes to follow around. And there's Deirdre. Rudy, Vladimir, Marina, Julian, Eloise, Diana, Cookie, and Cranston on. I love that they have a little neighborhood down there to themselves. Whoops. Going the wrong way here. Oh, there's this pretty, pretty statue fountain. I love the white cosmo or the white uh, carnations. 
here's the fairy tale town hall with oh a very foggy rainy town flag to match the weather going on I love the grass color at during September I think this is just like the perfect green that makes me so excited for the autumn colors coming up because I love when the grass turns all nice and orangey brown But like as far as like the actual greens go, September definitely has my favorite green. There's the cafe. We got a few presents sitting out here too. I'll pick up one of the presents. Just one of the presents to see what it is. I'll leave the rest up to you guys to explore and figure out. Oh, this is a really pretty area too. These couple of benches. I love the way the paths go around these these bushes. And all the little stars in the grass. Those designs are so cute. Oh, and there's so many different types of flowers all arranged so well. Oh, and these match the uh, like rose flower arch really well. It's really cute. Alright, across this bridge. Love these stepping stones too. The gray ones with the hearts on them. A lot of really great designs in this town. Here is the villagers neighborhood. Oh, so many pretty flowers. I love them. Sorry if I'm pausing a little bit. I've got this like, just tickle in my throat. So I'm trying not to actually cough because <laughs> I don't want to cough and that's gonna sound really awful in the video but also I don't want to pause for too long because that makes the video extra boring if I'm not talking for a while but gotta find a happy medium between <clears throat> coughing and not talking <laughs> sorry I love how the clovers are laid out clovers making pathways like in the middle of a bunch of flowers. Looks looks so nice. Again, love these paths. Love the way they go around the bushes. Oh, here's a lighthouse. I also can't wait to see what new like nature elements they introduce in the Switch game. I wonder if they'll do something in addition to like flowers, clovers, mushrooms, bushes, trees. What else they might throw our way. And bamboo. Already have bamboo, but... Hmm. I don't know, maybe just some different types of bushes or different types of trees? Oh, this is... It's cozy. I can't say anything besides cozy. It's very cozy, guys. Look at all this food. Oh, it's almost lunchtime for me. This is making me extra hungry. Oh, this is really, really well laid out. Oh, and upstairs we've got a little classroom. I love the classroom stuff. Always love seeing little schoolhouses made in Animal Crossing. Oh, hello. Suddenly the teacher appears. Koro. Yes, I blew up the moon. So Koro is from Assassination Classroom, which I have not seen any of, so not going to give these references. But again, still really like the way everything is laid out. Oh, this is pretty. I like this flooring and the wallpaper with the little tub here. And let's see, I think we have, yeah, let's go see this room over here. Last room for this house. Oh, it's a, a, a library slash bedroom. Man, can you imagine having this many, like, books and bookshelves in your actual bedroom? I would love it. I would feel, like, so peaceful and so comfy, surrounded by so many books. And I think we have just a little bit more of town to explore.
Let's see, how much more? Yeah, just, just the teensiest, tiniest bits. Oh, this town has been so lovely. Thank you so much for submitting. Yeah, no, 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 we've seen all this already. So we have, we have seen it all. Let me make sure there's nothing over here that we've missed. No, we saw the sitting area here. This town, I love the different combinations of design. So many different types of pathways and grass and waterways. So much nature and it's all like just laid out so well mixed with the paths and the flowers. Thank you so much for submitting it. And guys, please show the creator some love in the comments. Let them know what you liked about their town and if you visited on your own, of course. Uh, and that dream address is always going to be in the description box if you want to visit any old time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see your town in a video like this, please submit yours in the comments below. I only check the most recent uh, comment section of the most recent Dreamtown video. So even if you've submitted your town already, go ahead, copy and paste it, submit it again. I do these videos every single Tuesday. And like I said, I will be giving priority to either Autumn Towns uh, or both Autumn Towns and spooky slash Halloween themed towns. So submit both yours and other people's, but always credit uh, the creator if you submit somebody else's. And I will see you guys back next Tuesday. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.